How to snap on paper edges. Sometimes you want to snap onto the edge or the border of the paper. However, you might have a hard time looking for it. Because even though object snap is on, there is no object to snap to. The easiest way to do this is to right click, show the grid, right click, turn on the grid snap, and you could finally snap over each grid. However, since our paper space do not go exactly to the grid spacing, it does not snap to the paper border. This is because our paper size is in millimeters. 297 by 420 millimeters, while our grid is spaced on 10 millimeters each. So if this is a 297, our grid actually snaps on 300. We could just change the spacing to 1 millimeter each so that all millimeters will be shown as a grid. How to change paper size is just going to document setup and file and click on paper and change the paper size. Let's say A1. So let's say something by inches, okay? That will be 30 inches for the width and 20 inches for the height. Okay. Now our paper is on A1 size. You could see the A3 size a while ago. And this is a 20 by 30 inches size. Say we want to do that again. Turn on grid snap, show the grid. But remember our grids are on one millimeter each. So we could change that grid to one inch. That's 25.4 millimeters, 30 by 20, as they are pixelated per grid inches. I could see that our grid is exactly on the paper border. Say we want to place a border or a margin, just go to File, Document Setup, and turn on the margins. You can change the color of the margins by clicking on Color and choosing your specific color. Since this is not an object, there's no option here for the stroke yet, but you can choose to print the margin lines by clicking on this or even changing the spacing. 50, 50, 50, 50. How to rescale. Say that this drawing was made on A3 and you want to arrange it over to A1. There's no problem, just lay them out again if you wish to use the same scale. However, if you want to make this bigger, check the scale of the drawing first. It's currently at 1 is to 59, and by making the scale smaller, I make the drawing bigger. So let's put it to 1 is to 20. The drawing has been scaled, but the viewport has not been adjusted. Let's say let's go to 1 is to 24. Okay. By checking on our SketchUp model, Reserve Scale to Resize is turned on. So I can adjust the viewport without worrying about the scale. There. Our dimensions retained its scale as well, so click on the dimension. If it's related to the dimension, go to Dimension Style. And we could see that our current scale is 1 is to 24 as well, because the auto scale is turned on. That means whatever scale of the model view or the viewport is, becomes the scale of the dimensions as well. Let's say for example, we already have something done in A1, but then they required it should be done in A3, so we change the document size to A3. 
And now we have to rescale everything. The current scale of this drawing, according to the SketchUp model, is 1 is to 24. Okay? Or I could right click, scale, and see the checkbox 1 is to 24. Now, to make this smaller, I'll choose a higher number. Let's say 1 is to 100. And then we could put that there in A3 while arranging everything else. If you see the dimension, the dimension actually followed or snapped onto the viewport and still retained the correct size. But our text have been left out, okay? So the fastest workaround for this is to make sure this is final and if it's not for revisions anymore, you could just explode this drawing. So this drawing is already on vector. I could just right click and explode. By exploding this viewport, it turns into a scale drawing. 1 is 224. I'd like to put the fill at the back, so arrange, send to back. However, there are no scale handles because this already has a scale. Now what I want to happen is to place these text so that they get scaled down along. By placing this text in the scaled group, I could try to see what happens if I change the scale back to 1 is to 100. The text actually follows where the table locations are, but every Edits to a text should be done in textile, so you can just make the size smaller. And bound the box and choose smaller size. So that's one way to do it. Scaled growing is just a group with the properties of a scale can change it back to 1 is to 50 and arrange it. Say for example you don't want this to be in a scaled group and you just want to edit it manually. Right click and remove the scale, it becomes a group. However, since we remove the scale, even our dimensions do not know what scale to follow. The nice thing about this though is that it could just rescale visually by holding down shift and whatever scale you think this is, you can apply it into the dimension style, turning off auto scale and choosing the scale's dimension. 